could say Maida is a model for learning and leading in a new way. But why Maida? What makes Maida so different? Well, one of the things is that it integrates 15 learning and assessment models. Um, it applies current facts about the human brain, neuro discoveries that are not disputed, leaving behind those that are still under question and uh, the neuroscientists still considering their validity. It uses uh, proven facts to get higher motivation and achievement. And it's won awards um, for excellence and recognized both in the business and, lear and leading as well as in university learning. And so it uh, originated from learning within many, many cultures and uh, over 30 years of living among Inuit in the high Arctic and uh, learning from the Chinese over in China and learning from Europeans while in Europe and learning from South Americans while in Chile. MIDA is a model that integrates and spans and is proven. Who does MIDA work for? Well, that's a good question because it's really university faculty who want more for themselves and for learning. MIDA is really a change agent model. It facilitates change from progressive people who are ready for change but simply looking for a framework to facilitate it. It's for administrators who are concerned about the U.S. falling sharply behind in many things like manufacturing, business, but also in universities. It uh, is for secondary school faculty who are concerned about dropout rates and low morale that's pulling our country behind, ready for change, ready for something progressive that actually works and gets past the bureaucracy. It's for leaders in business um, who work with A-teams and want more productivity. It's for organizational leaders who are ready to move past the bureaucracies and to create. Ellen, how exactly does MIDA work? Well, the participants in MIDA certify to use smart skills, which is really an integration of hard and soft skills with the brain in mind. And people create solutions to their problems, things that they face in maybe a toxic workplace. Uh, to turn around, build caring communities out of uh, the innovative ways that their own brain can lead them. It's really a collaboration and it uses multiple literacies, get, getting development past what we are caught in in the ruts of bureaucracy. Uh, it has evidence of current brain facts that uh, drive really all five of Midas' steps. Then it ends with a celebration of knowledge, where people share their creations with a wider community. What's the evidence of brain facts in a MITA creation? Well, let's just take a few. Venting, for example, things that people think are a good thing to do in the workplace, now proven to actually work against the human brain and create more neuron pathways simply for more venting. You can see how that works against creativity. Uh, it also shows people how new neuron pathways rewire with every act we do. So give to somebody, be generous, don't gossip, and you rebuild and rewire your brain that night as you sleep and as you're in REM for more of that kind of activity. Um, change is hard, we all know that. So Mike just simply shows people how the basal ganglia works and how the working memory works and how they're at a tug of war in the brain and how you can release one to quiet the other and get the change you're looking for. Um, stress, for example, we didn't know a few years ago that stress literally shrinks the human brain. And so we try to teach the opposite and show the opposite pa practices that bring out cortisol and allow that to be dealt with and replace it with serotonin, which is a chemical in the brain for well-being and for creativity and for change and movement forward. Um, we used to think that cynical minds were intelligent minds. We now know with the brain facts that we have that cynical minds literally block creativity in any circle. So we show people how to turn cynicism into creativity. Uh, name calling, it's a good thing, we didn't know that. Give somebody uh, an introduction by their name or a greeting by their name and that actually carries um, uh, electricity to that part of their mind which is more open to learning, more creative. Uh, teaching others at the same time we learn. We didn't know that so we lectured at people but in MIDA we teach how teaching others while you're learning yourself is actually great for more retention both for you and for other people around. Well, how can MITA work for me and my organization then? Well, the basic certification in MITA is 20 hours with two MITA top leaders. 
Uh, we're developing an online portal as we speak with some top engineers in the country. And uh, we also travel to sites. We are in China one month and Europe another. We're heading to the Caribbean uh, very soon to work with a university who's interested in changing their university progressively with the brain in mind. Uh, we help leaders address problems and then we co-create the solutions uh, with those leaders. We inspire creativity and invention for finer pathways for all. Uh, we bring together cultures and build community across differences. Might is really about accomplishing things never before accomplished by using parts of the brain never before used to build finer worlds that allow us to build and co-create with other nations as well as improve learning and leading in our own nation. So MITA really does work with that uh, group of people, uh, secondary faculty, university faculty of every discipline and leaders at the A-team level to create change, the kind of change most people are looking for and change with the brain in mind will get.